So let's go ahead and head on to this next area. Get our chaff grenades ready because we are going to need them. <laughs> As you will see, we even get a couple right here in case we don't have any. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at this. You can't really... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, turrets right here. Steiner missiles. Pretty silly. You actually can destroy them all, but uh, it's just easier just to throw a chaff grenade and be done with it. Right there. Metal Gear Rex. Alright. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well. I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Alright, so we gotta start climbing Metal Gear right here. Well, Ocelot tries to figure out how to get into the system. Go ahead and get a couple of shaft grenades right here. It's pretty cool. If we go over here, I believe we also can pick up a couple, yeah, little FAMAS bullets. Not super useful to us right now. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Let's go ahead and go up this way. There is a pretty tricky spot coming up here in a second. Alright. So we're actually on top of Metal Gear right now. I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. 
the United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Alright. So let's go ahead and head down this way. We have a guard here. Pretty tricky one to deal with. Alright, so he's already on the move. These rails will cause noise. As we've learned before. So we gotta be out of earshot from him. Hopefully we are now. There's a little space where he will run off to on the other side. Snake! Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech President. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. 
Or maybe it's just because this fox die was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Beryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. 
Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Sneak, you've got to get that key. Now. Okay, let's go. Fall over, buddy. There you go. All right. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and get that key that fell over. Let's go ahead and climb this. And even worse news. <laughs> well, you'll see when we get down there. Okay. Alright, so we made it away from the guard. I guess the genome soldiers are... Uh, the brainwash is wearing off, so they're not all over the place now. Alright. So we have to go all the way to the very bottom, just like so. We have to locate the uh, PAL key again. Now, this is actually a cool thing, depending on whether you give in to Ocelot's torture or not, the card key will either just be here, or it will have been eaten by a rat. <laughs> so a mouse went ahead and ate the power key. So what we could do, just go ahead, yeah, I think I see him right now. Is that him? Yeah, it is. Done. Beautiful, dude. Perfect. Wow, that couldn't have gotten any better. All right, so there's no uh, enemy soldiers down here. So we could do this. Alright, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we just walk on over and grab the talkie. Beautiful, dude. Okay. Also, this water, I believe, is like poison or something, right? But, um, it was like, so it was slowly damage us. However, there are some pretty useful items in here. So what we could do is just go ahead and slowly go through here. Pick up some uh, pretty cool things here. Yeah, some more rations, which we do need. So combo, it's not like super useful, right? However, getting the extra rations would be pretty nice right here. I, I think that's about everything that's super useful. Let's see. More bullets. Another ration, all right. So that's fine. And we can only uh, see them when we have the thermal goggles equipped. All right, so we got the power key again. So now comes uh, one of the hard parts. So we have to get back up. We have the power key. We have to input the first one. Shaft grenade still gone, right? We're running low. We are gonna need them. We actually have a fair amount, but I mean, we're gonna need them for sure for a couple of sections here. All right, okay. So let's be fast about this. That guard is still there too. We don't want to alert him. We uh, couldn't have not alerted him the first time, but we can do it here and we don't want to. There he goes. Yeah, we gotta make sure he's out of ear sights. All right. Gonna make it in there, dudes. He heard us, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab the power key. These cameras are instant death. Go close the door and they'll lock it, and gas will spray out. So we really don't want to be seen by them.
It's exactly as it sounds. We can make it out of here without using Chaff Grenade. It's probably the smarter option, however. I really don't want to risk it, so it's fine. We could pick up some more along the way. Just gonna gonna just kinda have to go out of our way, but that's completely fine. Now here is the very scary part. Making sure that this guy safely gets past. Okay, and now we wait. <laughs> this is definitely the scariest part because he can. Uh... Mr. Fox. Beautiful. Yeah, we have to make sure we're in this position too. All right, we're out of there. Those are just, uh, I believe, some stun grenades, which could be useful, but we'll be back and forth here a couple of times, so that's all right. So let's go ahead and start making our way to uh, Vulcan's room, because it's there that we will be able to freeze the key. And then, uh, like we've seen, we'll have to heat it up by going to the furnace room, which um, we will have to head back to again. Then we're kind of on a timer afterwards because it'll go down to room temperature. So we kind of have to rush back and uh, get through all the obstacles and whatnot. It shouldn't be too, too bad. Whew, scary part though. All right. So back we go. We got 19 chaff grenades. Let's go ahead and equip this. Start heading back to Vulcan. Scary. Okay, so that's busted. So now we can safely get past these things. Right. Yeah, the first one's not too hard at all, as you can see. So the way this works is we have to get the power key and have it in our inventory just like so. We walk around in the meantime while it starts uh, getting frozen. We want to click it like so as well. Yeah, we're just going to take this time to go ahead and stock up on some Nikita missiles and free Steiner missiles. Another ration. We don't need it. Though. Oh yeah, I guess we did. No, all right. So yeah, we pretty much just have to wait here. I don't think there's really much else we can do. It takes a minute though, but it'll happen. Just kind of looking around now. We may have to stand still. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and just stand right here, stone. Stand very still. And we can tell that it's frozen once um we check in it's blue. Yeah, just like so. Okay, so now we can switch to this. Now the mad dash back. Gonna make it through the guard again as well. But yeah, we're kind of eating away our chaff grenades every time we go back and forth. So we are going to take a little detour, as you will come to see here, once we get to the fire room. That's perfectly all right. And we still have 17 chaff grenades, so we should be cool. All right. Head up this way. just essentially do the same thing over again 
Realistically, I, I really should be saving my draft grenades right here, but I think we'll be alright to use them. I, I really don't want to get caught by these cameras. Because if we do, it's game over. When we get into the control room. We are going to have to bust too, though. Because of the cutscene, unfortunately. Okay, so he's heading back. Wonderful timing. Let's make sure he's around the corner right there. We can actually go ahead and grab, uh, I believe one of these are stun grenades. I guess I was wrong. Alright, well that's fine. Still frozen. Awesome though, right? Very cool ideas. Very cool uh, concepts right here. Very unique. You know, the same key. It's just, uh, it's like different, uh, different way to input them because they have to be different temperatures. It's, it's a very cool idea indeed. All right. So now we only have one more to go and that's heat the key. Another scary part right here, just gotta wait, and uh, hopefully we are in the right position, which I'm pretty sure we should be. We're gonna have to use one to get out of here. Okay. Wonderful, dude. Yes, okay, I'm so glad I found out about this spot. Alright, so now we can uh, start heading out. Yeah, there's a little section where he walks on the other side while he's patrolling as well. But it just leads to a dead end, so uh, he like circles around, you know. Go okay? Oof, stressful. <laughs> the final part, you know. Okay, so we'll head down this way. Start making our way back yet again. Oops. And we are going to take a, a little side trip to collect a couple extra trap grenades since we are kind of in uh, need of them now at this point. But it shouldn't be too bad or uh, too big of a deal. <laughs> Slow feed. Get our card ready. And then we'll throw another one right here. Kind of threw it off the cliff, didn't I? That's fine. That works. Good old trap grenades. Alright. So. As you can see, we have friends now patrolling this area. But it's not too hard to deal with them. We just have to go on that path that I went and we'll be fine. So now we have to make our way up the elevator again. Just like so. We've got a crows here as well. I'm sorry, ravens. Box B sounds pretty good right now. Yeah, we just chill here for a bit. While well, the eight elevator goes up slowly. Just get a little nut. I'm trying to make it look perfect. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, a little more. A little, a little nudge. Aw, oh, that was too much. 
<laughs> Gonna call right here. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox Die. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Gnarly, huh? Yeah. All right. So we can uh, start making our way back here. Fuck this thing. Okay, good. Alright, so we're not gonna have to deal with that. Which is pretty cool. I, I actually am not sure if it comes back. Um, or not because I know some of them do unfortunately that's why I didn't bother destroying the other ones <laughs> the like comically large amount in the other room right they work fast and they reinstall them now let's go ahead and hit the corner again I'm gonna make this a perfect fit one day one of these days there we go ah that looked pretty good <laughs> didn't it he always ends up down here unfortunately <laughs> All right, that pretty cool. Okay, so we're back here again. Oops. Oops. Okay, there you go. Yeah. And what we can do is actually head back in here because these should be back. However, we are going to have to use a uh, chaff grenade in order to get them, but it's another drop of them, right? So, let's go ahead and put these, make sure we have them on us. Head back out here again. Beautiful. So, we just got two more. Which, uh, definitely will be useful to us. So now we can start heading out again. Nice, we didn't even take damage. Look at that. Okay, another kind of little scary section right here. Oh, were those shaft grenades over there? 
don't think so. Yeah, I don't think this rich half drops. But we, what we can do is head back out here. And that'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, but yeah, we do have to be in the furnace to heat up the palkey. Because these should all be back again. Yeah. It's for the best. It'll definitely add up. Oh, okay. So what do we got in here? These were just Steiner missiles. So we should be fine without those. Oh, also the uh, hidden pills right there. Pretty cool. Not that we really need them. Do we need rations? Let's see. How's our ration supply right now? Five out of five? As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take one. Because I know there will be a spot where uh, we can grab one out here. We've definitely eaten a lot of rations, haven't we? Throughout this playthrough. Yeah. I mean, if, like, we have an extra one, might as well get our health back. But yeah, as you can see, we could just go ahead and pick up that one. Well, there should be a chaff grenade drop around here somewhere. Go somewhere. Let's see. This. These are chaffs. This is a double chaff drop. Yeah, maybe I should actually destroy them with the steiner. That's fine. Now we have so many more. Oh, so very worth. Absolutely. Was this? This was a free room. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually already full on everything, aren't we? Beautiful, dude. Okay. Hmm. This was the room. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, throughout this whole time, you're, like, running around. And, uh... Oh, did I even show this off yet? I don't think I did. Here, let me show you. Stun grenades. Cool. Uh, those will be useful to us. So, when we come back here, Sniper Wolf Spotty is gone. But in place is little baby puppy. And they're very friendly, dude. See? Aren't they cute? It's pretty cool. <laughs> nice little thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't show that off, did I? Right. Okay, so... Let's see. This was a level 7. That we couldn't access before. So we got these. Don't really want to use a chat because we're going to need to use one to escape anyway. Let's see. Watch out, little puppy. Got them all. What about mines? No mines? Oh, okay. So we just got free refills. Just for using one. Beautiful. And at the end of the day, we will have... Don't worry, little buddy. Way more uh, chaff grenades. Cool. We're still going to have to use one to get out. That's fine, though. All right. So, I hate to blue balls you here, dudes. But, um... We're just about the 40 mini mark, minute mark, so let's go ahead and call our buddy Maylene. Might as well save out here. What can I do for you, Snake? Let's go ahead and save that. Snake, in China they say, when walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay? Interesting. Okay, and that will conclude Metal Gear Solid for today. And next time, we will be finishing this game. Uh, what a trip, huh? Yeah. Great experience, Metal Gear. Um... Thanks for watching uh, my playthrough so far, dudes, and we'll be finishing it tomorrow. Alright, have a good one, dudes. Peace.